I want to start by saying uh, you have delivered these great performances the last few years opposite these women that have been doing these do you know what I mean? Like No, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you, man. But yeah. what has it been like because you know, you you have I really liked your work in the in the bronze, you know, I Tanya, you have this and it's like these are some you know what I mean? You No, I I've been very yeah, no, I've been lucky to find you know, uh, these projects that I've felt very passionate about and I, I, I think for me it's just about the director, you know, like you kind of start out there and then, and then uh, I mean, particularly after I, Tanya, I was just sitting there going, you know, this was such a great experience and Margot and, and the collaboration that we had on that movie, how am I ever going to find that kind of a thing again? And then I just lucked out sort of with this, which is really, you know, right up there for me in terms of experience because um, not only somebody, I mean, you know, Nicole is, it's just that sort of that person that, you know, you grow up and you see them up there and you immediately put them on a pedestal, but she was, you know, like another peer to me. I mean, she was so generous and kind of made me feel very included right away. I mean, I, you know, we didn't have any rehearsal. We jumped, actually, we shot my stuff chronologically, which was helpful for us, but from the get-go, with her and Karn, it, it was always like teamwork and kind of feeling very included and and yeah, I mean I like I said, I'm I'm happy to if I can continue the streak like this, uh, you know, and and support a great sort of actress of that caliber in a in a very you know in an important kind of um, female-oriented film. I mean, why not? That's you have a very cool look in the film. I'm curious, yeah. what was that like going out and like, because you look normally like this. You have right. this, you're rocking this tattoo. You got the, the haircut. Well, yeah, well, well, Karin was, you know, she said, look, I feel like we should try something different and, and kind of like shave your head and stuff. And I was like, perfect. I mean, anytime you want to kind of change things up, I'm, I'm always grateful for that because it helps me sort of, you know, not fall into my usual comfort zones and whatever. And you know, immediately I thought about my mom because I knew it was going to freak her out a little bit. And then we had these tattoos that Karn wanted me to have tattoos, and then I personalized them. And one of them ended up being actually a picture of my mom that we transferred as a tattoo. And and uh, you know, they they I had them for probably a month. So it was it was just very it was interesting, kind of like. You know, did you ever it up. did you ever go to like Starbucks and just or like a store and yeah, walk yeah, in with all this yeah. and just notice you were treated a little different? Well, it's always fascinating to see how people respond, you know, based on sort of appearance and things like that. And, but but I I didn't really notice. Maybe I felt a little cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I felt a little cooler, you know. Oh, uh, completely. Uh, one of the things also is that this is made on a limited budget, limited time frame. You had to film that bank sequence, which is a action-heavy set piece. Yeah. And I guess you had like two or three takes to get it right, and it's all in camera. It's yeah. Similar. Well, she, you know, they shot that very real time. It felt like we, we they had shot it from security cameras, and they shot it from different angles, and it, and it was, you know, Karin really wanted it to be as authentic as possible to what it could potentially have, how it pl would have played out, and then also, she wanted that thing to kind of go down as messy and as unpredictable as possible and you know when you see the movie I, I guess you'll know what I'm referring to but but that's the thing with these movies they get like 30 days you know this this movie was about 30 days and I mean of shooting and it's just kind of crazy to think you know you, you could you could make that happen but um, I think there's a positive thing to sometimes feeling like you don't have a lot of time and you have to show up right away and jump right in and not spend a lot of time overthinking. I mean, obviously for her as a director, it's a, probably a crazier experience, but as actors, sometimes that um, time limit, is it can work to your advantage. Um, completely. I want, um, I'm, oh, my last thing for you. Uh, you have a few improv-heavy projects that you've done. Yeah, oh God, up. yeah, these two, yeah, right now, with Drake Doremus. Right, totally, yeah. and I'm just curious if you could just talk to people real quick about what, you know, what those are. Um, yeah, so there's a project I did in Greece, I'm still sh shooting it right now, um, and that's sort of uh, like a weird, you know, like the director there calls it a rom-com gone wrong, that's, what, that's how he calls it, you know, and it's, and it's very much in that Blue Valentine before Sunrise world about, you know, uh, this couple, and then, and then I ended up working on this project here with uh, Drake Dramas' new movie with Jamie Dornan and Shailene Woodley, who are 
probably some of my favorite people I've ever met. And um, again, it's like a very improv. And if you're familiar with this yeah. films, like it's all about the experience as opposed to the execution. And I'm finally understanding kind of from him what, what that means. But um, yeah, it's just great because it frees you up and and you know in a way you end up feeling more vulnerable because um, you're sort of creating the thing as you're going and, and you don't have like the structure of a scene but um, but you get some moments like when you see those movies that you know like that was what was happening in real time like that will be as honest as you you know of a, of a scene as you'll get you know so it's just kind of a different way of working but it but it's really it's been enjoyable a lot I gotta go. Congrats on this movie. Thank for real. you, man. Yeah, it's nice a to, see to see you. you. I'll see you soon. I